protesters braved the heat to deliver a message to city leaders this afternoon, doubling down on their commitment to fight for justice for Sam DeBose. Unlike Dieters, we don't quit when the going gets tough. We're here for the duration until the DeBose family gets some semblance of justice. DeBose was killed by former UC cop Ray Tenzing during a traffic stop two years ago. After two mistrials, the prosecutor plans to drop the charges. It's sad, man. It's a sad day for the city. It may not just slip from their hands. But we can't, we can't stop fighting, man. I appreciate y'all coming out here, fighting for my brother. Organizers from the Countdown to Conviction Coalition demanded a retrial and a federal investigation into the other two trials. There's a growing wave of people here in Cincinnati and Hamilton County who are ready to stand up for justice and who will not quit. A diverse group rallied from Fountain Square and in the streets of Cincinnati all the way down to the banks to bring awareness to racism they believe plagues the justice system in Hamilton County. When the court doesn't work, we take to the street. And so we're in the street and that's where our power is, that's where our people are. Now, Dieters will be back in court this Monday to officially drop those charges against Ray Tenzing. Supporters for Tenzing plan to march across the Purple People Bridge on Monday. And then protesters we spoke with tonight in support of the DeBose families plan to be there as well to oppose their message. Reporting live at the Hamilton County Courthouse tonight, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. All right.